It's really important that we make our cities more resilient to future flooding. We've seen, you know, people wading through floodwaters in sub subways and under bridges and driving through, uh, and you know, really quite deep floodwater. And we've got to stop that happening. We've got to prepare better, understand urban flooding better, uh, and make sure that when we're building future urban areas, um, that we can understand where those floodwaters are going to be and make sure they're not where the people are going to be. So we've been looking at how you can better use synthetic aperture radar images uh, in urban areas. And they're often used to uh, prepare for disasters. So when you need to know where the floodwaters are so you can get people out of the way, uh, but they don't work very well in urban areas. So we've been trying to improve that by using a combination of uh, kind of clever techniques to make the SAR more readable, um, but also using flood models together with the SAR images so that we can get a better understanding of where the floodwaters are. So this technique is designed uh, for any urban areas. I mean, we've applied it at the moment to the UK, but you could theoretically apply it everywhere where you've got these urban areas. I really hope that our technique can be used across the world in the future. We're hoping to do that and test it out in different places. It does have the potential to be useful for kind of global planning and preparedness activity.